Hi guys, today I'm talking about love and um, relationships and how to make love last. Um, now the reason I think I'm qualified to talk about this is because I've been with my partner for, it'll be just over 21 years, 22 years next year, and we got together when, well I was in my late teens, he was in his early 20s, and we've been together ever since. Um, we never got married, um, but we are soulmates and we're very, very close, we're good friends. Um, and I also think it was the, the pressure of actually not getting married that maybe is what why we stuck together and why we have been such good friends. Because there's that impression that once you get married, um, everything goes to normal, you have to stop trying. A lot of people let themselves go when they get married. Um, not everybody. I'm, I'm not generalising, but you know that's that's the that's what we're the impression we get of marriage. You know, people are supposed to stop having sex. All these things that we hear about. Um, but things because we didn't get married, we've always made an effort for each other, and you know, physically and mentally, and we're good friends and we talk to each other. And I think what's made it last is the fact that we've always been able to just be ourselves with each other. And from the very beginning, when I first met him, um, I was just able to just to be myself in a way that I'd never been able to be myself with somebody else. I found it easy to just just to be myself, and there was no reason to put on any airs or graces. I didn't have to pretend to be something else that I that I wasn't. And you know, you find you do that sometimes in relationships. You try to be the person that the other person wants you to be. Or the other person can try and change you and then you can change but the thing I think why love has lasted, is, lasted here is because we were able to be ourselves because um, at the beginning of a relationship you know people can pretend sometimes um, yeah so I'm going to show you a picture of him so this is us that's in that's from 1994 that's me and him this is another picture here of us. That's us again. And this is the latest picture of us. This was taken at a wedding we went to. That's us there. So he's my best, he is my best friend. And I will always be able to just be myself with him. So if you're in a relationship and things aren't going well, if you find that you're not being yourself and you're unable to be yourself then you are not in the right relationship so my advice is if you're going into a relationship right from the beginning be yourself totally be yourself don't pretend to be anybody don't anything that you're not don't pretend to put on any airs or graces just be yourself and if that person accepts you totally as yourself 100% then it will probably work and it will last but if you find yourself pretending to not be you in a relationship that takes a lot of energy um, it's actually easier just to be yourself because you're not having to constantly think of another way to be that's not your personality so if you are constantly yourself you have all this energy to just share and to put into the relationship instead of constantly having to check yourself in the relationship um, and also, if you you have to give each other space, um, so you do need to have time apart. I know it's in the, early in a relationship, all you want to do is spend time with each other. And to be honest, you know, 20, 21 years on, we are still kind of the same. We do spend a lot of time with each other. Um, that's because he's my best friend. We're best friends, and um, you know, we we talk about stuff together, and we we're both very aware and awake and it's lovely to have a partner who totally sees reality like I do you know we he was awake before me and he used to try to wake me and he used to try to um to help me see life and see reality and I'm glad that when I did have my awakening he was there to to catch me and to help me um yeah so that's all I wanted to say if you're in a relationship and you find that you're not being yourself then it's probably not the best relationship for you if you can't 100% be yourself and the person that you're with cannot accept you as yourself, then move on, move on and find someone you can be happy with and be yourself with. And that is the key to making love last. If you pretend all the time and you're not yourself, you're going to end up bitter and you're going to end up 
regretful and you're going to regret things and wish you'd done other stuff. So um, that's, that's just my advice really, to let love last and to make it have longevity, be yourself, be happy and um, just don't pretend to ever be something that you're not because um, that makes the whole relationship difficult. So I hope that helps because a lot of people ask me, how have you, how have you, how's it lasted so long, what do you do? The thing is, I'm not doing anything, I'm just being myself, which is the easiest thing you can do. And I think that is the key to making love last. So I hope everybody finds love, I hope you all find your soulmate this year. Um, and if you are having problems, just try to think about what I said. Think about past relationships you've had. Have you done this? Have you pretended to be something you're not? Someone you're not? Just think about it, it's worth thinking about. And good luck, I hope you all find love this year.